Hello everyone, my name is Sheila and I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I belong to the Church of St. Joseph Central, Kuala Lumpur under the Archdiocese of Kuala Lumpur. I'm part of the CCR and in the Parish Pastoral Council and a Community Minister. Many years ago, I, attend, I came to know the Lord as a Christian. At that time, I was non-Catholic. Life was challenging for me. At various points, I had to stand up for Him. I remember praying and worshipping Him alone and sneaking out to attend church. I was only 18 at that point. Through circumstances, He led me to study in India. I grew in His word and His strength. One day, I remember attending a retreat. In this retreat, next to the retreat hall, there was a seminar room held brothers and sisters who were praying 24 hours for the retreat. The way they were praying, the intercession that they were offering up, sounded to me like heaven. And I remembered that until today. Many years later, I became a Catholic and eventually became active in the parish, joined retreats and different, held different positions. But there was always a longing in my spirit for intercession. Of course, in the CCR, we did intercessions, but different types of intercessions, more of general ones. In the last year, even though it was COVID-19, I managed to participate in some Bible studies online and some retreats. It was helpful to bring into realization areas of my heart and mind that needed pruning and tending to. It was a difficult journey. Eventually, he led me to a place and put a call in my heart that says, arise and pray. And every time there was a yearning for prophetic, prophetic yearnings, but I wasn't sure what. He impressed on me Isaiah 6, 1 to 8, when Isaiah meets the Lord in his holy temple. And he asks, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And Isaiah answers, here I am, send me. That was that word that came alive in me. So I prayed for this realization to come. There were about three of us from batch 13 who were from my parish. One of them was my sister in CCR who shared about Jericho 13. She was also joining because she wanted to listen to Brother Cyril. I don't think she realized the impact of prophetic intercession then. Neither did I. But when she shared with me, I knew this was what I was looking for. So I jumped at the opportunity. As usual, it wasn't easy. The dates, I wasn't sure of. There were many things planned around July 1st to 15. And I was afraid I was going to get tied up with things. But the Spirit of the Lord kept encouraging me, kept prompting me. and He wouldn't let me be until I joined. So I joined, and that too, after the closing time of, this, of the last day. I managed to reach out to our moderator, Sister Priscilla. I guess she needed more info from me, and she must have checked with the Holy Spirit before letting me in. Days before joining, we had a few trials in our family. My husband and my father-in-law were involved in an accident. Praise the Lord, they were okay, but the car was damaged. Once the program started, around day two, both my husband and I are healthcare workers and he was exposed to a COVID-19 patient. He was of a certain risk and required him to be quarantined at home. And when I conveyed this information to my department, it was advised to me to stay home too, even though he was not positive yet. Praise the Lord, he wasn't positive. It wasn't easy being quarantined at home, but it really helped me because I had five days of working from home to be able to spend on Jericho. And the entire program is so blessed, so structured and well organized and dynamic. You can see that this is the Lord himself has created this program and allowed it to happen in such a time as this. An online program would at this time travel a lot faster and maybe more effective. Of course, we miss the physical uh, physical gatherings, but it helps at this time. 
I think I can speak for batch 13. All our lives were changed. No one was left untouched. His Spirit poured onto us different gifts. Those who couldn't speak in tongues spoke in tongues. Those who did had different tongues. People had visions, word of knowledge, and some had word of wisdom. The program itself helped me personally in a lot of ways. Because of its structure and its demand for personal holiness and sanctification right as a foundation, and knowing that you were called for it, helps me every day as I practice these six steps. I know now how to lead and how to step forward. It is a new foundation that will create a deeper and deeper relationship with the Lord. It is a role that's very different for all of us because now we know more clearly, even though we don't know the whole heart of God, but some part of it. We need this physical army in a way to stand in the gap for so many lives of so many people whom the Lord loves a lot. I can't thank enough the, te the team in JJA. Your Grace, Bishop Francis Callis, Brother Cyril John, Brother Enjin and his team, every member of the crew, technical and otherwise, at all levels. What a blessing you have been to all of us and God bless you so much. Our dear moderators for guiding us throughout, Priscilla, Gilbert, Joanne Mary, Hilda and the rest. I pray that he continuously uses all of you mightily for his kingdom. I think the translated notes that were prepared for my other brothers and sisters really helped them to understand the videos much better. With this, I'd just like to thank everybody and I thank the Lord for giving us all this opportunity to come forward and to be able to stand in the gap and to make a difference in people's lives by being on our knees. Praise the Lord and thank you.